Now tackle number 20 on the 12A. Rows 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 of this array are shown. And I, I won't bother reading to you this problem. I'll just explain it. We have 1, then 1, 1. Then what we do is on each turn, it's kind of like Pascal's triangle, right? We move this one out. We put this one, we add the two numbers here, 2, and then we put the 1 here. But then what we do is for each value that's formed by adding two different numbers, we just add an additional 1 on top of that. So we get 1, 3, 1. And then here we have 1 again, just from extruding. 1 plus 3 plus 4 is 4, plus another 1, so 5. Same thing over here, 3 plus 1, and then a, an additional 1 we always add, and then the 1 just extrudes out. So we're asked to find the unit digit of the sum of the 2023 numbers in the 2023rd row. Basically, we'll just find the sum and find the unit digit later. So what is the sum? So imagine this was just Pascal's triangle. None of this trickery here. 1, 1, 1, 2, 1. You just always add the previous two elements and then you move the 1 out, right? What would the answer be then? How could we find it? Well, the key thing to notice here is that for every, let's take a look at the third row. For every value, like 1, for example, here, it goes out. It's whatever this thing is one, it's now, it now becomes two in the number because it goes to the one here and it's part of the three here, right? Because three is one plus two. So it has that one there, right? We split the one up into, we put the, duplicate the one into two places. Similarly, the two, the two also goes into two places. It goes here and it goes here. The one here, it also goes into, into two places. It goes here and here. So for every single number, it's going into two places, right? Because this is just 2 plus 1, and this is just 2 plus 1. Two places in the next row. So the sum will always double. So then we could just be like, okay, 2 to the, what, 20, 22, or whatever, and find the unit digit of that using standard unit cycles tricks. This is a little bit more nuanced, because now we're adding 1 here in the middle. So let's maybe try and come up with an expression that we can work with. Right, so first thing is just 1, right? Then we're like, okay, 1 times 2. We're not really, here it's up till here, it's the same. But next time, we're like, okay, we take this value that we got, we multiply it by 2, but on top of that 2, we're adding an additional 1 to this term here. These terms are just 1, right? There's no additional, there's no additional thing being added there. But this term is formed from two different numbers, the sum of two different numbers diagonally, one greater than the sum of the two numbers diagonally above it. Each interior entry. So it only applies to the interior entries. So we like, okay, one times two times two, that's great. But we have to add an additional one. And the next time, okay, again, we double it. But now each of these two interior entries is each one more. So we add an additional two. So we keep doing this. We multiply by two. Next time, there's three interior entries, so we add by three. You see a pattern yet? So like, okay, if you have all the time in the world, you can evaluate this, then you can evaluate this, then you can evaluate this, and you'd be done by maybe next year's AMCs. You'll, you'll be done by then. So let's look for a smarter way to approach this. And that smarter way is going to be with the distribution here. So, Imagine we just had, we didn't have the sum rule. Then our sum would just be 2 to the power of 20, 22. Because we start off with 1 in the first row. 1 is 2 to the 0. The first row is 2 to the 0. So the 20, 23rd row is going to have a sum 2 to the 20, 22. Because each time we double. Okay, so now the thing is, take a look at this. Now we added 1 to this middle term over here. That 1 that we added will now be doubled many, many times. Because we added it in the third row, and we're asked about the 2023rd row, that one that we added here will become 2 to the 2020. The, it will have a sum of 2 to the 2020. Basically, it's an effect. Like this one becomes 2 in the next row, which becomes 4 in the next row, and so on, all the way till 2 to the 2020 in the 2023rd row. Now, next here, we got one here and one here. Each of these two ones will become. 2 to the 2019 in the 2023rd row. Why? Because this is the fourth row. We're asked about the 2023rd row. Each time, the, the extra one that we added here doubles. So it doubles 2019 times. Next time, we have three interior. 
but it will also double one last time. So we have this. And this continues all the way until in the 2023 row, there's just going to be, well, 2023 numbers or 2021 interior terms. So 2021, and we can just write two to the zero if we want to. So now all we have to do is find this expression, which really is a unit digit. So maybe this is like a big giant thing. Can we maybe find like a closed form? So the first thing to realize here is two to the 2022 is kind of separate from the rest of them. So we'll just deal with that later. You know, it's, it's easy enough to deal with later. Let's now focus on these terms, which are kind of the important ones. So the idea here is if you've seen the um, orthogeometric series trick, it's like, okay, you have one plus one half. So you have one half plus now two fourths plus three eighths plus so on. You break it up into many different geometric series. So you have this one. And then you have another one. And then at the end, it becomes this thingy becomes a geometric series of its own. This trick. So we can apply a similar trick here. So first thing, let's just find two to the 2020 plus two to the 2019 all the way till two to the zero forgetting about these coefficients. Well, by geometric series formula, or just by, you know, a natural property of two to the power of, that's two to the 2021 minus one. Now, take a look here. Now we can also add, what do we have left, right? We, took, we added two to the 2020, two to the 2019, all the way till two to the zero. We have two to the 2019, two times two to the 2018, all the way until two to the, or, 2 to the 2019 plus 2 times 2 to the 2018 all the way until 2020 times 2 to the 0 left. So now we just do something similar, but this time we start at 2 to the 2019. So we add 2 to the 2019 plus 2 to the 2018 all the way till 2 to the 0, which is 2 to the 2020 minus 1. Okay, now finally, when we have 2 to the 2018 all the way till 2 to the 0, we get 2 to the 2019 plus 1. And this pattern, you can probably see, continues all the way to when we just have 2 to the power of 0 left, which is just going to be 2 to the 1 minus 1, just for keeping it consistent. So now, all, and we don't, let's not forget our 2 to the power of 2022. Now, all we have to do is sum all of these. But now take a look. 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, all the way till 2 to the power of 2022. That sum... Well, we're trying to add all of these, right? So what is this sum? We're summing everything from two to the one to two to the 2022. Well, take a look. It's kind of like two to the zero. If we had this whole sum, then this would just be two to the 2023 minus one by our geometric series stuff. But we don't have a two to the zero. So in reality, this is 2 to the 2023 minus 2. But then we also have to subtract all of these negative ones. And because there's 2021 powers, we subtract 2021. Okay, so what is the last digit of 2 to the 2023? Well, we have this digit cycle pattern over here. 2 to the 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4. 2 to the 3 is 8. 2 to the 4 is 6. And this cycles. And because 2023 is 3 mod 4, going to be this one. So now this is 8 minus 2 minus 1, right? We just care about unit digit, which is 5. So 5 is our answer for this problem. For the tricks here, the trick was realizing that we can just treat each of these values and it each doubles into the next row. So to find the total sum, we just find the sum from each value that was added, right? So we have this value. And then for each thing, additional thing we add here, for example, it was 2 to the 2020. And this one contributed 2 to the 2019. This one contributed 2 to the 2019, and there's two of them, so we had that. And then the next one, there's three of these. We added three to each of these values, and then we doubled it 2019 times, so we get this. And then at the end, we use some clever manipulation, right? Similar to the Aritho Geo trick, we just added one copy of each term to get this. Then we added one copy of, of each of these terms to get this, and then so on. And then we're just left with this simple expression, which we then proceeded to use geometric series formula once again to get our answer of five. Hope you enjoyed this video.